Europe, we don't have a lot of time to waste. The new competitive powers out there, it's not a matter if they're going to bypass us. I think the risk is they're going to run us over. In Europe, it's clear we're a mature, high-cost economy. We have to innovate through technology to prosper, to survive, to create jobs, to create investment. This region can't compete on the basis of price. It has to compete on the basis of quality. There are so many examples of innovation. It's the largest ever scientific collaboration on the largest ever experiment. Europe should actually set itself up to become the champions of the green economy. Central Asia is still seen as something of a mystery. The population of the Kazakh capital has doubled over the last 10 years. If we don't engage with these countries, these countries will turn eastwards. In Central Asia, there needs to be much more flexibility around labor markets. It needs innovation, it needs change. It needs to be able to respond to the opportunities that are going to come. And I think it's highly important that they also look very strongly towards Europe. We have a region that stretches from Lisbon to Vladivostok. Russia, Caucasus and Central Asia have got a huge amount of potential. In a project to develop a high-tech research and production hub that will become Russia's Silicon Valley. The European Union is still the world's largest trading bloc, the world's largest integrated market. But if you look at where Europe and Central Asia stand, you can see the opportunities. How can we actually create a fusion of Europe and Central Asia? The meeting in Vienna will create an opportunity for East to meet West. The idea was to build something completely new. Discussions are at the fundament of actions. There are very few barriers, if any. There has never been a better time to do this. A new start 